Hi everybody, welcome back to the Moose. Um, in these next um, lessons, we're going to discuss relative minors, um, scales and chords that I mentioned and their importance in bluegrass or in any type of music that you want to pursue on the five string banjo. So these um, series of lessons are going to be very, very important to understand. So we're going to start by talking about relative minors and what does relative minor mean. So the first thing we're going to relate with the relative minors is in standard musical notation. And it's important to understand the relative minors through standard notation, even if you don't go on to read music or, uh, or perhaps later on you will, but it's important to understand how it relates to the um, to musical notation. So you can see on the board here now that I've got the staff and um, with the lines. And if you're not familiar, we're going to go over it a little bit. This symbol you see here on the end with all the swirly lines, that's called the clef. Okay. And next to the clef, you'll see that I have one sharp here, okay? Now, in this area in standard uh, notation, whatever piece of music you might be looking at the time might have one sharp or might have many different sharps or flats depending on which key um, the, the, the tune or song is in that you're playing. And this is called, when you see this sharps and flats, and perhaps there might not even be any sharps or flats at all, is called the key signature. And that's very important um, to remember as it relates to relative minors. Okay. Now I'm going to go over the, the lines on the staff now just a little bit. And this is something that you may already know. Uh, but we're going to go over it again a little bit here, and that's the lines of the staff and also in between those lines. So we first have the five lines, and this bottom line is an E note. The next note, the next line is a G note, next line B, D, and F. And you right, might even remember this from, from grade school. Every good boy does fine. Okay, and that's a good way to remember those five lines of the staff. And also, in between those lines are, are also named notes. And you can see here that in between the E and G is F, A, C, E. So we have face, so that's a good way to remember it. And, and if we looked at them stacked up, we're just, we're just going up the notes um, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and then back to uh, E and F again. Okay. Now, every scale in music, every major scale, all 12 of them, have a different number of sharps and flats involved. Okay. The C scale doesn't have any sharps or flats. And if you remember going back to previous lessons, if you worked on um, some of those major scales, and again, knowing what the notes are on the fingerboard, and it's very important to know the notes on the fingerboard. Um, to understand all this. So, again, going back to a, a, a C major scale, that scale has no sharps or flats involved, okay? But we're going to deal, be dealing with the, um, the G major scale again because that's how the banjo is tuned. That scale has one sharp, and that sharp being an F sharp. So if we saw the one sharp in standard musical notation, just like you see here, we know that, that the key is going to be in G. Okay? And they also place the sharp or flat above the line or in between the lines, depending on what the, that note is. Okay? So, this sharp is right above the F. That's an F sharp. So we know that the only scale that contains the F sharp is a G major scale. 
Okay. Now, getting to back to relative minors, there's one more, there's one more chord and scale that contains that one sharp that being E minor, okay? And I'm gonna get into this in the next lesson, but I just want to go this far for right now, and then we'll talk a little bit about the G major scale and the E minor scale, that being the natural minor or the relative minor. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and we're gonna continue on with this, and we're gonna get into a lot of discussion about um, bluegrass, blues, jazz, rock, whatever you want to pursue on the banjo. These are going to be some pretty important lessons coming up. So I hope you stay tuned and keep joining me and we'll see you next time right here on the Moose. That's the musicmoose.org.